Welcome adventurers to D20 Fitness, where you become your own hero. This is Raw2175, diving into weeks 2, 3, and 4 of my adventure. Let's do it. So week two, big week, lost seven and a half pounds. I was working six days a week, two doubles. That amount of work, I was not able to work out. That was the week where I started working. So I went from working not at all, only doing workouts to maintain and exceed. And then moving on to six days a week, or yeah, six days a week and two doubles inside of all that. My joints couldn't handle it. I work in a kitchen. It's very high speed, high stress. And if I was to work out on top of working that much, I could have hurt myself. And I also lost seven and a half pounds. So clearly I was doing enough physical work and my body had a lot of adapting it needed to do. I needed to increase my joint medication by 50% in order to compensate. I was dealing with a lot of pain, I was dealing with a lot of pain that week. Uh, but with the increased joint medication, I was starting to, my body was beginning to adapt. My knees were hurting a lot less. My back was hurting a lot less. Going on to week three, let me go check the stats. Week three, I did lose two pounds. I was working five days a week instead of the six, so I did get a two-day weekend, thank God. Uh, still working out two doubles. I got one workout in. My joints were feeling stronger, doing better, so I thought I could risk it. So uh, I did like half hour cardio, doing a lot of running, but it was better than last week. And it's all about doing better. That's all we can do. Week four, I stayed even, working five days a week, still two doubles. I worked out twice, once for cardio, once for strength and endurance. So that last stat there, week four, stay even even. Not exactly what I wanted to see, but the day before, uh, I got a story. The day before I went to go away, it was my last double for the week. And so I celebrated. It's been stressful, so I drank. And I haven't been drinking and being on intermittent fasting at the same time. So that's not a good thing. So here I am drinking on an empty stomach. And, you know, beer is not super alcoholic. It's not like I'm drinking straight shots, so I thought it was fine. So I got four beers in, and I was not having a good time. I went from a good time, and then I had the fourth beer, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, I had to break my intermittent fast because I was going from buzz to drunk. And I didn't want to get drunk. I don't, because usually I'll get hung over by then. All that drinking and eating. And then like nine hours after that eating, I basically just slept on that food. Terrible to eat right before you go to bed. But even with that food still in my belly, still not fully processed, I broke even. So I suspect that I've probably lost at least a pound or two because I still had that food inside me. Like I usually weigh myself and I can feel them on an empty stomach. I'm ready to eat. This time I was more than fine. I still felt a little queasy. So I suspect I might have lost weight, but I can't just make up numbers. The scale said what it said. So that's where I got, I got to stick to it. And uh, I learned something, you know, I'm not going to be defeated by staying even for a week. Uh, just, you know, don't do that. <laughs> Learn from it next time. Keep moving on. That's what we're about. So those are the stats. Now we're going to move on to challenges. Learning how to make videos. Yeah, I can make the raw footage just fine, but actually editing and using that software that I've never used before, I fell behind. I had planned on releasing uh, every week a new video. That did not happen because I had to learn how to even edit these, make these, find my own system for it, all that other stuff. So instead of having unrealistic expectations and deciding to try and make up for it and just make all those videos up and have no free time, I decided to make a collaboration effort for weeks two, three, and four because I want to have realistic goals and realistic, realistic expectations from myself. So, so that's what I did. And I would have had more free time and tried to do it anyway, but another challenge that I had was I started working. Week two I started working and that was rough because we are low on employees. So our staff is really skeleton, skeleton crew. So I've been working, I worked six days that week with two doubles. So I had very little time to do anything. In fact, 
Uh, sadly, one of the challenges was not being able to maintain my workout routine that I wanted to do. But that's also because uh, I'm in a physical environment. I work as a cook in the kitchen. And with that, there was a certain amount of joint pain because I was expecting to join in, start maybe doing, you know, 25 hours because I thought we were going to be slow. Instead, we were super busy. So I needed to adapt to that orthopedic stress. So that was another challenge, was dealing with joint pain. Uh, also, being a food addict, working in a restaurant environment, uh, being very stressed and not cheating on my diet. So those were all the challenges I was facing with all at once. I would really characterize my successes with three words, adapt, improvise, overcome. Without those three words, I would have had no success during these trying times. I was not planning on working six days a week. I was not planning on having all those doubles. I was not planning on not being able to work out and maintain the exercises that I was doing. But with the orthopedic stress and the joint pain I was going to have, you have to balance your stressors. So I adapted, improvised, and overcame in order to not lose sight of my goal. That I would not allow myself to lose sight of my goal. So if I couldn't work out as much, I needed to really keep track of my nutritional planning. Your body composition, 70 to 80% of that is dictated simply by your diet. So I had to make sure that my diet was strict. And week two was too strict because I saw the stress happening, so I really buckled down. And I was impressed. That was a really big success, losing seven and a half pounds in a week. That's too much. It can be very dangerous to maintain that, so I changed what I was doing. But at the same time, it did feel really rewarding that going through all that and I could find that during that week. It, that, it was good. It was good. I didn't think I'd ever see those numbers ever, actually. Another success is I didn't just stop working out because I was working entirely. That first week was rough. So the week after that, week three, I was able to get a workout in, slowly get my joints time to acclimate to working and working out on top of it. By week four, I was working out twice a week. This week, my doubles should be lowered. So I'm expecting to work out even more. I want to keep getting that number up till I get up to five. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop and allow myself to stop or quit or give up because of work. My expectation for week five, I expect to maintain my two pound loss. I'm going to hit that nutrition, make sure it's going. Not drink and make stupid mistakes. I also plan that work should be slowing down just a little bit. We've hired a couple more people, so hopefully I'm not working a million doubles this time. So I should be able to work out at least three times a week, if not more. I'm going to shoot for more. I've already worked out once this week. We've got another six days in here. Final thoughts. I used to not fit in this shirt. I've lost 12 pounds through the past month. That's now March 8th. Ending of week four was week March 7th. This used to, I could barely get into it. It was super tight, not comfortable. I can wear this comfortably now. That's such a good feeling. 12 pounds is a huge difference. It sounds like a small number. It is not. Not only did I have to work hard for it, I can see it. I'm not going to measure my midsection until the end as I described, but I can see a difference already and I'm getting compliments from people I haven't seen in a while and it feels good to get those results and that I can see the results, they can see the results. It's surreal. I've been heavy most of my life and it's great. It's good and I just you just gotta adapt, improvise, and overcome. I was stuck for such a long time. I, w I was stuck that I needed the perfect weather. Not too sunny, not too snowy, not too windy. Just perfect to start trying to achieve my goals. I needed this setup, that setup, I gotta do this. Just do it. Just do it and start. Starting can be ugly. My first video had a lot of ums. It is what it is. Starting isn't supposed to be perfect from the get-go. Start it, do it. Just doing anything. You just don't wait for the perfect weather.
to start your goal. Learn how to wear a rain jacket so you can achieve your goal every day. This is Rawl2175, signing off.